Hey, awesome surprise today. Open up Figma and I got a pop-up saying that I now have access to the new AI beta features and specifically first draft. Been waiting for this for ages so we can use a prompt to generate an application and then we can actually make it work, make it real. Maybe it's the second draft using the Buzzy plugin. So this is using Buzzy's new auto markup stuff. So let's let's give this a go. So choose something pretty simple. We're going to create a simple recipe app and on the home page there's going to be a grid of recipes. So let's see this create. This is so cool. I'm so excited. Here we go. It's busy working over here. It's going to be putting the images in. Hey, that's cool. And we can go and we can change the look and feel over here. So let's go with uh, go with, the, with the bright one over here, the light one. Go with the green. Oh, that's cool. Hey, I wanted a dark one. I don't have one. Anyway, that, we'll, we'll go with this uh, light and bright one over here as the first step. So that's pretty cool. So we've got a app over here. It's good. And what we want to do is we want to add one more screen. I want to add a detail screen. So I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to click on first draft again. And I'm going to paste uh, a second prompt for my second screen. So let's see over here. So I'm going to say, uh, let's add a recipe detail page for the recipe mini app. Each recipe includes a description, ingredients, and a method. On that page, users can submit a review. And the review form should include a comment rating and have a submit button. Uh, reviews should be single thread, not nesting or threading. So it was interesting because I, I ran this before as a test and I think they've got a set of components that you don't get a lot of flexibility on. So it's busy combining all those together. But let's see over here. Here comes our review. It's got the name right over here. So at least there's some consistency over there between the application. And now it's going to, it's going to uh, create the rest of the components on here. So this is so cool. I'm so stoked. So it's busy creating the images. And this was the review component that, so it didn't listen exactly to what I had asked for because I said, you know, it's got the ratings in there, which is which are good. Um, but if you look at the submit review and that, it didn't have a submit button, uh, which was something that I wanted. Now, obviously I can go into the Figma file and I can add that myself and I can mark it up using the Buzzy plugin, but it would have been awesome if it was there right from, right from the start. So, and it's also given me a, a, a set of different design themes. So again, I could probably go back and, oh, that's, a, that's kind of a bit crazy. Let's go, actually, yeah, let's use that one. Oh, that's the blue one, uh, which is a white one over here. Oh, that's kind of chilled. So it, it kind of looks okay. I'm not gonna give it the up or down thumbs at the moment, but um, that's, that's an awesome starting point. So this is where we, now get to have some real fun with the Buzzy plugin. So I'm just going to rename this over here called uh, Recipes. Um, and we're going to call this one over here the Detail Page. So I'm just going to change the name of here. Recipe Detail. Just make it a bit. So they put the prompt in there. Now I'm going to run the Buzzy plugin. And we're going to get it to mark this file up and, and um, do this. Now you can do this manually with Buzzy. So you can use the Buzzy plugin. Um, you know, for, for a complex screen like this, it might take you anywhere between 30 and 60 minutes to be able to mark that up. But this new auto marker feature allows us to use AI and literally do this with, within a matter of minutes. So the first step is we're going to scan for the screens. And you might have lots of frames on your canvas in Figma, and you get an opportunity to include or uh, deselect those if you want to ignore them. So some might be there for testing or just informational purposes. But it's got this right and it's, and it's worked out that's the start screen. So you get the option to define whether they overlays, which are like pop-ups or modals or basic screens or a start screen. So we'll go to the next one. And now we get to generate a brief. Now a brief it describes everything in your application. It's like a mini product requirements document or PID. You can modify that once it's been generated. So it's got the name over here of recipe. So it's worked that out from the file. Um, it's got a description so you can browse recipes. You can re review the details. You can submit a review. Um, it's got the different user roles. And then you can, it's got an overview of the data model. Now this is really important stuff. Uh, 
and just going on face value if you have that it's got this mostly right I could edit or add or remove requirements but I'm just going to go with that and we're going to go to the next stage which is generating the data model now the database is what drives a lot of applications in terms of their content and the data model is the description of that database so now you've got a, an underlying data store for your application which is really important it'll need to understand things like the relationship so for example you've got a recipe and then you might have many reviews Buzzy understands how to put that together we've got, we can handle those so if we let's have a look at a, a recipe over here so we could see over here like it's got ingredients that's a sub table that's a one-to-many relationship so you can have a recipe can have many ingredients and then it might have a method which is a rich text field and so on and again every one of these items in here you can come in and you can edit and change or add or remove missing fields and that for the purpose of this we'll we'll just go with it and it's going it's not going to be perfect but it's going to be a good starting point and we'll see over here we've got a sub table of reviews that again is a one-to-many relationship you can also have many-to-many -many relationships now this is where the fun starts so we're going to get it to mark up these two screens and to, you it's going to look at the brief the data model and all the screens it's got and then do as best as possible to map them between the elements on the, the screen the actions so things like submitting or navigating um, from this screen to, the, to that screen and um, get that all wired up for you again you can do this manually with the buzzy plugin but it just takes a bit of effort in that you can still come in afterwards and modify it if it's got something wrong again the AI might not be perfect but to get this as like a, a working application that you can now share with users and start to get feedback is like in an incredibly short amount of time is an absolute game changer so using first draft to, do, to get your first draft of the design and then using Buzzy to create your second draft or the working version of this, which is way beyond a tappable prototype. This is actually got using real data in a database. You can create app, um, data, you can have it, you know, notifying people and doing all sorts of cool stuff. And you can also integrate it with other backend systems. So we've got all the hooks in there for APIs and that. Now, we're using OpenAI's um, 01 preview at the moment, so it's a bit slower in marking up screens, but we've just seen the level of accuracy to be a level above what we've seen with even with our trained models. Now we'll be looking at making um, you know train other other models out there to get this more efficient and faster. But for now, this is an awesome point of view. So if you think about like to mark this up would have taken using the Buzzy plugin would have taken let's say 30 to 60 minutes each, so two hours for this. Getting it down to you know two or three minutes for these two screens uh, is is a, is a no-brainer. So I'll stop talking and I'll just wait and we'll fast forward over there and we'll have a look at the result in in it. Okay, here it is. So that took probably just a little under three minutes to be able to do that. We've got this marked up. Now we can go into preview. Now we could go in the first time in, you just need to copy your Figma file link over here. So there's a pop-up, it's pretty easy. And then we'll just continue on over here. So now what the Buzzy plugin is doing is gonna publish this file, including the data model to the Buzzy server. So it's a full stack application working with a database and gonna create all the different screens over here. Now, one of the things you probably want to do as well is generate some sample data. So you can have a look at the application. Because it's using a database under the, you know, if you don't put any data in there, it's going to be like an empty shell and you'll have to go in and create the data. The other thing that you could do is if you design screens for create, reading, updating, de deleting that data, it will mark those up for you. So you can create a full content management system in Buzzy. Alternatively, you can use the Buzzy workspace and I'll show you that in, in, in a short while. So let's see over here, we're generating the data. I'm just gonna click view in the browser. I'm gonna pull this over from another screen. Let's see what it's doing. It's obviously in the middle of generating, generating the data. Let's have a look what it's done. You can see over here. So here it is. Here's the first version of this application. Let's see, you know, it's kind of responsive to a certain degree. One of the things that you wanna be able to do, and I'll show you this. So I'm gonna go into expert mode. We're gonna, I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna switch into expert mode. So out of the auto markup. And then here we can see, again, we've still got our brief over here. We've got all our data model. Um, this is the underlying database of, of, of the system. Um, we can also mark things up manually. I remember I said you do not have to use this auto markup feature. You can go and take an existing Figma file and use auto markup to speed it up. But you can also do that manually. And that's kind of the way things have worked in, in, in the past with Buzzy. This new auto markup feature just speeds everything up. And then we can have a look at what's happening over here. So let's have a look at this. And we're going to go in. Uh, we're going to click into a recipe. Let's see this if it's working. Okay, cool. Now, it does, it's not scrolling. There's one little 
little uh, tip over here at the moment. If you go into the prototype tab over here and you just change your scroll to, for example, over here, the overflow to vertical, um, we do this over here and we'll change this to vertical again. Now, Buzzy, the process with Buzzy and using the Figma plugin is it's iterative. So you, you, it's not just a one-off creator of, of an application. You constantly can change things. You can modify things. You can change the design. And it, it will be, you know, it literally takes a matter of seconds and you can update the, update the application. So we'll see that. That'll, that'll um, kick off in the background. Okay, so here it's got this. Yeah, and now we can... That's finished the publish. That took a lot longer. It usually is pretty quick. Now, it, it's things like the reviews and that are going to need to probably be manual marked up because Figma is just plunking in a, a you know, predefined component in here. And at the moment, the markup's not, not working. Yet. So, but again, if you look at the, let's have a look at the back end of this application and we'll look at the Buzzy workspace. So in the Buzzy workspace, you get access to a whole bunch of information. There's a whole bunch of things like security settings and so on. But one of the things you can do is you can look at the data models. And this, these are the data tables that are storing, you know, those recipes. So if I just went, let's say if I change this over here, and again, as I mentioned, you can change this. If you go, you can see over here, that is the change that I just made. So again, if we put this side by side over here, wow, really wow. And I changed that. We see that's changing. This is actually a live application that is driven from this database that exists that's all been created through this Buzzy Auto markup from that first draft Figma file. So in short, this is going to dramatically speed up your application development. It's going to, it's going to, you can get this in the hands of users. You can share these links with people. We also create native applications for iOS and Android. There's a bit more setup that you need to connect it to your, your different app store accounts and that. We can publish that. It's a native application. That native application has features like it can be offline. It has all the database on the phone and, and so on. And you can fully create, read, update, delete while you're offline and it will sync back with the server. So pretty cool features. Again, out of the box for you to create with Figma. This first draft stuff, so pure excited, can't wait to see what people, please reach out to us and let us know what you think about this. I'm sure, you know, this is a, this is a first version of, of what we're doing with auto markup. And again, super excited about this. Thanks for watching.